Hello everyone. Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to study or we are going to start a special topic, new topic that is the your tachometric survey. Now, this tachometer, what is a tachometer? Tachometer is an instrument. This is what you can say, telescope, a focusing telescope. So it is like this. It's having the, what you can say, two horizontal hairs through which uh, you can focus the object. So the object will be on this side. And you will focus this object like this through this cross hairs. Now, some terminologies we will have. Now, this length we will have is as F. This is your focal point. This is what you can say your eyesight. After that, you will have your tripod here on which the instrument will be here. It will be at this center, but I have drawn it here. Now, after that, you will have the image here. So there will be an image on your eye. Okay. This will be what you can say your eye. The size of image you will have. After that, uh, you will have the distance t then after that you will have the capital D and you will have this size of object as capital S so uh, there might be some corrections in this diagram it's not up to the scale we have drawn it randomly. Okay. I hope that you you understand it. After that, you will have this uh, distance as t and this distance as u. Okay. Now, as you all know, the general equation your this distance is capital D now as you all know as we all know that the general equation for objective lens is 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon D plus 1 upon U so this is the general equation for objective lens okay so this is your v distance this is your u distance 
and this distance is your f okay so this is a focal point distance from your telescope so 1 divided by f is equal to 1 divided by v plus 1 divided by u the same equation can also be applied to our instrument tachometer and this tachometer works on the principle of the similar triangles this tachometer will work on the principle of similar triangles so triangle made by this image for your eye and the triangle by made by the rays from this telescope to the object so this tachometer works on the principle of similar triangles and based on that principle you can find the distance and areal of the object so basically tachometer is used to find the areal of the object right if your object is located here you will find this distance as you will find the areal for this object so this telescope is also rotated in vertical directions like this okay so the object is bisected from here and this horizontal line is nothing but your line of collimation so line of collimation and line of sight might be different because this telescope is rotated vertically your line of collimation is important if this line of sight is exactly horizontal then it will coincide with your line of collimation okay now after that we will see the what you can see important things such as here in this diagram what you can observe is that i that is this image your i divided by v v is your this horizontal distance okay so your i is vertical distance divided by v is equal to this size of image s divided by this horizontal distance and that is u okay so uh, to understand it i will draw this same diagram here as like this so this is your i and this is your v and this is your u okay and this is your s so by the property of similar triangles i divided by v equal to s divided by u okay so s divided by u so from this diagram we can conclude this ratios ratios of the sides of the triangle i divided by v is equal to s divided by u. this we can conclude here okay so i hope that you got this diagram and there is a what correction way that we can see or implement here is this correction only right so how we can implement this correction is like this okay so in this way we can apply the correction here only okay now for this tachometer the general equation what we have to derive that equation we are going to get is your distance t is equal to k s plus c whereas k and c both are constant s is your object of size of the object whereas k and c both are the constant so this equation we have to derive from this i upon v is equal to s upon u and 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u so based on these two equations we have to derive this d is equal to ks plus c so let's see how we can derive it in short before that 
you take this diagram you draw it on your rough book okay now i will erase this and uh, after that we will proceed towards our derivation of the d is equal to js plus c so for us this derivation is important because sometimes it might be asked in the examination now how the special derivation we can as we can we can get we can derive that we will see step by step okay so now after that let's move towards our derivation what what we have found it before this is i divided by v is equal to s divided by u okay now how we can write this 1 by v is equal to s divided by i into u we can write this after that which thing we already have we already have 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u that is the general equation for the objective lens we are already having this now after that we can replace this what you can say 1 upon v here this value okay so after that for proceeding further what what we will get that is important so after that we will get 1 upon f is equal to s divided by i into u plus 1 upon u right this thing we will get after that we can make it common that's 1 upon u we can take it common so divide 4 we will get s divided by i plus 1 so this equation we can also write it as u is equal to f multiplied by s upon i plus 1 s upon i plus 1 the same thing we can write it here now as you know that from the previous diagram capital d is equal to small d plus u so we can point it out it from the previous diagram that our capital d capital d is equal to small d plus u okay so the same thing we can write out here also that capital d is equal to small d plus u and this value we can take it from here okay the value of u we can write it out here as f multiplied by s by i plus 1 okay now after that again we can write it out as we can multiply this f to this and we will get capital D is equal to small d plus fs by i plus f okay now same thing we can write it out here as d plus f we can take it here f we can take it here d plus f plus fs by i okay so we can write out like this after that what we are going to get that some assumptions we assume that f by i is equal to k let us assume this thing after that let us assume that f plus d is equal to capital c a constant okay so your 
f upon i is a multiplication constant and f plus d is your additive constant okay additive constant this can be added and this is can be multiplied okay so finally we will get d is equal to ks plus c so at final we got this expression here so k is your multiplication constant and f plus d is your plus c is nothing but your what you can say additive constant so i hope that you have understood the this derivation so thank you